last time we covered how to infuse natural sweeteners and this time I like to show off on how to use dry products such as vanilla, vanilla bean extract with uh, coconut sugar or how to make black truffle salt. Just adding that extra beautiful depth into your food, you know, it helps to, to really make, bring things to, to life. And, um, and basically it's really easy. And you can follow the same method and do whatever way you like things to be. So here I've got coconut sugar. I'm gonna just put some coconut sugar in here. And um, as you remember, we've made some vanilla bean extract. Mm, beautiful. And um, all I'm going to do here is just basically add as much as, as the way I like, I like it to be infused. So if you would like it to be strong, may add more vanilla bean extract. If you like it to be less strong, less. So here we go, I'm gonna do that. And then I'm just going to mix it around with my hand. Don't be shy. Things always taste better when your hands are involved. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful. Just adds depth and creativity. And that's what you have to do in the kitchen, you know? Be a child. Play. Play with your food. Play with flavors. Have fun. That's what we're here for. Happy life is happy kitchen stories. And then, of course, if we're going to have sustainability in our mind, use one of these babies, our jars, and just nicely put them in there. There we go. And then it's just going to last you forever, you know? You could do the same thing with salt. You could have, uh, you know, vanilla salt to add into your desserts. Here we go. So that's our sugar infused with vanilla. And now I'm going to do salt. So basically what you do with salt is you grab, um, again, one cupful, put it in there, and then basically you have your fine grater and your truffle, your black truffle. And depending on how strong you want your salt to be, it's up to you. But I'm just going to grate a nice, large sum, a generous portion into my sea salt and just have it in there beautiful look it just smells wonderful it's great in your food and just mix it around with your hand oh smells divine here we go it does need a bit of a massaging into but once you're done with it you know making this at home is so much cheaper than going and buying some of this because this stuff can cost an arm and a leg at the store. Trust me, I spent a lot of money on this stuff until I was sick of it and I thought, I'm going to start making my own. And that's it. You order our salt in, get our vanilla beans in, start creating your own products. Just to help you add that extra depth. And go that extra mile. Always feels good. There we go. Yeah. Enjoy being creative.